Welcome to On the Board. We're not actually games journalists, we just play them on YouTube. On the Board is brought to you by Great Escape Games, Sacramento's premier game store. If you watch YouTube on TV, can we say that we do this on TV? So in the coming weeks before Dragon, Dragon's Dogma comes out, finally, um, here are some board games. First off, there's the Doctor Who RPG, and then we got Tail Feathers, which is a standalone, but it works with the Mice and Mystics Sorrow and Remembrance miniatures. We also have Mutant Chronicles. Oh, thank you, Autocorrect. The Grand Temple of Jingle. This isn't Autocorrect, is it? Also, for the expansions, we have the Mission expansion for Galaxy Trucker, as well as the Over the Hill and Dale expansion for Carcassonne. Car Carcassonne. 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 Hold on. There's not enough pretentiousness in my mouth. Carcassonne. In the big news this week, Asmodee Games has announced that they have purchased the license for Settlers of Catan, the English version, from Mayfair Games. This comes after Mayfair Games had a number of publishers court them for the rights, and Asmodee won after a large amount of consideration. In an interview with Eric Martin from Board Game Geek, uh, the at the time CEO Peter Fenlon mentioned a number of different things that they had, took into account, including, quote, that Asmodee understood that service-oriented brick-and-mortar retailers had a very special value as forums, community centers, etc., which is, I'm sure, why Asmodee won't let the, these brick-and-mortar retailers sell products online. For videos this week, we have the one you are watching right now. On Wednesday, we have a Let's Play in Duck Game. We have a bunch of guys come over and, and we... Uh, that sounds actually bad already, once I say that like that. We just... we, we play Duck Game. It's, it's a quacking good time. <laughs> On Thursday, we've got the Houndstooth unboxing. We'll be showing you this. On Thursday. So you don't, you don't get to see it until then. And on Friday, we have a tutorial in Star Wars X-Wing in regards to ionization rules. Our Kickstarter highlight this week is GG, a two-player card game that pits players head-to-head -head in a game of deception and strategy. Using basic concepts as simple as rock, paper, scissors, as well as a large number of other strategy cards, the game only lasts about 15 minutes, which is great to be used in either short events or you know, any time you just want to sit down and play a quick game and not be locked in for three hours. Anyway, give it a look. The, uh, the link to GG is in the description below. Uh, and you share them some love, give them a little bit of money, and get yourself a copy. It looks like it's actually going to be a really fun game. I am not normally one for two-player games, but given the fact that it only lasts 15 minutes, this could actually change my opinion of them. Or at least this one. It's good. And that wraps it up for this week on On the Board. Be sure to like and subscribe the video so you can stay tuned for every week's update that we put out. Also, be sure to check out our wonderful sponsor, Great Escape Games. We are really appreciative of them helping us produce all this great uh, weekly content for you. So be sure to show them some love and check out the, their link uh, below in the description. Bye, everyone.